Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Modern Warfare and World War II, where we take historical battles from World War II, but then we increase the tech from World War II to the modern era. Welcome to Warsaw. Now it has been about a week and a half, almost two weeks in now. And uh, we're about to see the end of Poland. And the Germans have gotten some upgrades and so has the Polish. First off, we have new tanks. These are Panzer Grandadiers. Grandadiers? Grandadiers. They're pretty well trained soldiers. The last battle we saw, we just saw regular soldiers. But these guys, they know what they're doing and they're, they're ready for a fight. So, let's go over the objectives. It will be completely opposite for the Polish as for the Germans. The Germans are going to come in. Their goal first off is to take out uh, these three mortars. The first one's over here. One, I believe, is over here. Over here. The, uh, the next part is to capture the command, the forward command, uh, Polish command center. Finally, as a little bonus, I thought it would be kind of fun to do, there is a Polish general over here. He's a high general, general of the army. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's let this battle begin. The Germans have quite a task, the uh, Panzer Grenadiers. Uh, let's see how well they do. I'm going to actually put it on half speed for the beginning part. Um, we're going to see all these German soldiers moving in, hopefully protecting the tanks as well and the rest of the convoy. Let's see what they can do. Three, two, one, begin! Oh, interesting. Some of the men jumped out and immediately get killed. So the, oh boy, the Germans are under heavy fire here. Oh my god. I want to point out the Germans and the Polish will be getting reinforcements. Oh my god. They are under so much fire from the mortars, but they are trying to move in. So there we go, back to normal speed. Let's, let's have a look here. An idea. So the Germans are pushing in. Polish are still trying to hold off here and there. As you can see, they are pushing in. Oh, 
still alive. Was alive. What a close battle. There's not that many Germans left. There's not many Polish left. The general's trying to make a run for it. Where are you going? Okay, he's trying to ram his way through instead of just... Oh, buddy, you are attracting a lot more than just... Oh, buddy, you better move! You better move! Oh, <laughs> he's trying to ram his way through! Oh, my God! Did he get him? Yeah, the general's dead under the car. Yep, you got him. Okay, I guess we should probably jump. Let me... Oh my god. Let's jump into the second battle, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The final battle for Warsaw. I'm actually kind of rooting for the Polish in this uh, second battle here because uh, even if the Polish win, obviously we gotta follow historically and they lose, but Poland, they're outnumbered, they were outgunned, they were attacked, and not only were they fighting uh, for help that would never arrive, aka France and, and England, and uh, not only that, um, the at this point, I think the Soviets were trying to betray them, and they will. I think it's like two or three days later after the fall of Warsaw. You know, they, they were... Poland still put up quite a valiant fight. You know, unlike some countries that once their lines were broken, they just gave up France. I definitely will come back to, to see the Polish. Definitely with the Polish resistance. I'm excited for that, but... Let's finally bring this battle to the end. The Polish, let's say a couple days have gone by and the Polish got some reinforcements. They now have uh, T-62s, I believe they're called. Some new BTRs, more units trying to help. Um, but it's a little, very little and way too late. I'm definitely going to put it on... Uh, put it on slow-mo for the first part because I know helicopters are gonna come in all sorts of stuff is gonna happen it's gonna be epic but I want to make sure that I get everything three two one begin here we go ladies and gentlemen the Germans are gonna start with a volley oh good lord oh good lord Oh no, the second one's shooting. Oh, Jesus! Oh! My God, man. The Germans are now pushing in. They have helicopter support as well. Holy macaroni. Yeah. So it begins. Oh, I'm, I'm in a good position here to see another thing. I know there is a T-72 right over here waiting in flank. And bingo, he sees it. I don't think that, that leopard sees him. And it's gonna cost him! Oh my god, did that bounce off and hit the, the car? Yes, it did, and it's now triggered the other ones to catch on to him. And unless these German tanks can save him, which it looks like they're trying! Oh, buddy. Getting flanked, you're getting ganked. Some of them are just balls deep going in. Others, not so much. I think we can increase the speed to half. Let's try half. Quarter. The 
Germans are now starting to push into the middle. A lot of the middle's defenses were absolutely rocked with those um, things there. There's still some tanks. There's still quite a lot of men as the Germans are now pushing in. I'm not going to say this is the end, but god damn did those rockets do it. Good lord! Oh my god, they shot and killed both those tanks. The battle for the beginning, or the beginning of the open part, is about to begin here as Germans are swarming in. We have, it looks like more Polish tanks joining in. They're trying to come in and help. Be enough? Why not? I, mean, I think they lost their uh, BTR there. They got a good line here to engage these uh, Soviet tanks. More Soviet tanks are showing up too. Yeah, I think I got the screenshot here. Oh yeah. Okay, let's bring it up to uh, half speed here. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good. So the Germans are now pushing into the middle. We have quite a gunfight here. Foolish tank showing up, trying to help out. Hitting trees, because I guess they're not as well trained. Oh, Jesus. They're trying, okay? You gotta give them credit. They are trying. We have a giant field battle here between the two. Is a flaming tank. Oh my god, it explodes. Jesus. Oh my god. Germans are starting to push now into the middle, under a lot of fire, but, I mean, they have tanks for cover. And they're trying to hold off here. They got a good line, but, I mean, oh boy. <laughs> they got no armor. Like, I'm not going to say it's over, but um, I think it's over. Uh, this Polish flag on the ground, I think, represents at this hypothetical time. And I do want to point out Poland is a much stronger nation now and it really shows with, let's just say more modern conflicts how willing they are to show they will not be pushed around anymore. The Polish still have uh, this kind of uh, parliament building here. Oh, we do have one more tank. Look at this boy spawning in. Coming to help out. Ooh! I think he missed. Yes, he definitely missed. Yes, you see how he's trying to shoot. And he misses. Like, staring right at each other. The Germans are just coming in. They know. We gotta take the parliament. Oh, both of them are moving at the same time! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh! Oh, good, he shot! Open fire! Those men sacrificed. Oh, GG! Oh my god. Yeah, I think that tank is done. Yeah, the, the crew are jumping out as smoke is pluming, flame is coming out. I'm positive that's going to explode. Throwing grenade! Throwing grenades back! Oh. G. 
Gee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Germany might have won this battle. We'll see if they win the war. <laughs> Till next time.